Hi guys, welcome to Flip the Script 2.0. So today I will be talking about my journey after 75 hard. So I finished 75 hard in November 2021. So this is like a six month update. Um, I figured I would do it six months after just so I could see what was I was able to keep up with, what I fell off from, things like that. So right after I completed 75 hard, I went on vacation to Puerto Rico and I noticed like coming fresh off of 75 hour and going on vacation was so good for me because it really helped me channel my goals and my vision and I did not overeat on that trip I did have a lot of alcohol I did I won't lie <laughs> I was excited about being able to drink again um so I did indulge in alcohol but it still wasn't to the point where I was like sickly and throwing up so I did pretty good on vacation came back it was new year's um during new year's COVID hit my household, so it was a little different. Um, I had some family personal issues, so that kind of threw me off, and I realized, like, I immediately wanted to emotionally eat, and I had to tell myself, like, no, you're not going to go backwards. You're going to keep moving forward, so January went by. I did really good. I was able to sustain my 15-pound weight loss, but um, I didn't lose anymore. I didn't gain, but I didn't lose. So, and I was so encouraged by the 75 hard day. In January, I created my own challenge called the 60 day go hard. And I felt miserably on that. Due to the personal issues and COVID, I was not able to keep up with my own challenge. So I will be going back to that, but that's another time. So I, fast forward to February was a lot of important people in my life birthday. So, I immediately went into celebratory mode and it was bad for my diet. Like I started, so at the parties I would eat cake and I was drinking a lot of alcohol and that made me crave for the things that I always go to, which is soda and ice cream. So I indulged in the soda and ice cream and that kept up for like a month. So February and then my birthday is in March. So when March came around, I was in birthday mood and I was just like, it is what it is. But by the time my birthday came, which is the beginning of March, I was so bloated and I was just so heavy. I haven't been that heavy since November. So it really took a toll on me. I saw it right away and I was like, you know what? This is not what I want. So I do... Thank 75 Hard Challenge for getting my mind to a space where it's like I see the route that I'm going down and I don't want to I don't want to go that way. Like I'm trying to lose the weight, not gaining more weight. Um, and I'm able to have fun, but reasonable fun. So March came, my birthday went towards the middle of March. I was like, that is it. I need to get control of my fitness world and the things that I'm eating. So the first thing I did was start changing my diet because that's the hard part for me. Being physical, I actually like working out. So that's not the hard part for me. But eating well, <laughs> like I, I can eat. So um, I, I immediately changed my diet and started intaking more fruits and vegetables and drinking more water. Boom, they help with the blue immediately. I made some celery juice, which I love. Check out my Instagram page, Flip the Script 2.0, for some uh, recipes on celery juice. But so I started implementing those things again, and the bloat went away like immediately. So I was excited about that. Um, and fast forward to now. So now I have incorporated more physical. I do an at home workout called Queen Warriors, it's amazing. Um, so now that I'm being consistent with that. And also consistent with the things I like to do at the gym, uh, which is Zumba. I am seeing a nice, I'm seeing my shape come back. I didn't step on the scale yet. I'm going to step on the scale May 1st. But I will insert some pictures of my body then and my body now. And where I'm starting from. So I want to just encourage you guys to come along. I have so many transformations that I'm doing at once. I'm trying to transform my hair, my skin, my body 
This is a flip the script 2.0. When I come back on this camera, I will not look the same. No time. I will be evolving and I encourage you guys to do the same. If you fell off, get back on. And what I've done is I don't let my healthy lifestyle dictate my life. Like I incorporate it in my life. Like I'm no longer fixated on losing weight, losing weight, losing weight. No, I know if I eat fruits and vegetables and drink a nice amount of water, I will lose weight. If I have, you know, a, a sweet treat every now and then, that will not derail me from where I need to be. So, um, I've just learned to just incorporate that into my lifestyle. And I'm so happy and I'm so content. And I just want you guys to join this ride with me. I'm going to be in it, putting up some amazing videos and I just want you to know that you can transform too. You can transform. Anything you want to do, you put your mind to it and you can transform. So I do want to thank 75 Horror Challenge for getting me mentally strong. I am mentally strong. I know whatever I put my mind to, I will complete. And once you get to that point, no matter what the scale says, you will be able to push through and push through that self-doubt and push through all that fear. So... Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day.